You have got to be kidding me. I spent $50 on the season pass. I spent $60 on the game itself. And now, in order to unlock the full game, not just the maps, in order to get the full game, some pieces of locked code, weapons that are arguably better than the other ones that you have available, I'm supposed to spend more money or spend hours and hours grinding for crypto keys for just a slim chance. It's based on a gambling slot machine system. I'm supposed to gamble with money or with hours about getting these new guns? Let's see. The, the what's it called? The crowbar. They did a test. Somebody did a test whether the combat knife is uh, just the same as the crowbar. And the crowbar hits faster than the combat knife. Therefore, it's better. It's like 0.6 seconds to get between slashes of combat knife and 0.3 seconds with the damn crowbar. Look at the M1 Garand. It melts people compared to the Shiva. Its hit fire is okay, but the only thing is that you can't reload. All you have to do is run scavenger and shoot your bullets. It's a two-shot kill, maybe one shot to the head. The crossbow is the only thing that might be slightly balanced, but not really because it's semi-automatic with multiple bullets in its clip. And what do we have next? The Shiva just melts people. The new Shiva, the Emma Garan, the Executioner looks like it's a better version than whatever the hell the uh, Marshall, whatever it's called. But in order to get those guns, I have to drop money or grind for crypto keys. Hutch spent $350. $350 to get all the guns. He got all the guns. And David Vonderhaar says he's extremely lucky. So if you spend over a hundred dollars, if you spend three hundred fifty dollars, you're still not expected to get all the guns, and it's going to be even worse if you're crypto key farming. They couldn't have decided to maybe make a new case that contains just the new weapons, you know. But no, that means Activision and Treyarch can't screw you over. And there's going to be a bunch of apologists saying how it's not Treyarch's fault. It's not Treyarch's fault. It's all Activision. Treyarch developed the game. Treyarch communicates with Activision. Treyarch needs to find a way to make a good game. Treyarch is the one we turn to. Treyarch is our proxy. Yes, it's Activision's fault, but Treyarch should be arguing for this. This is stupidity at its finest. You can say all you want about how supply drops are okay, how its kill keeps the game balanced. I have to get arguably better weapons through gambling? This is like Advanced Warfare all over again. I have to gamble for new and better weapons by either spending money or grinding for just a slim chance. This is pay to win. It was so fine. It was okay when they just made him cosmetics. That was perfectly fine. That's why CSGO works. CSGO works because there's no difference between the cosmetic attachments. You know, you can use... If you want to use a very camel M4A1S, you're not going to have an advantage over someone that has a vanilla M4A1S or the iron, or whatever the hell the name is, you know? But now you have to get better weapons through that? What kind of system is this? If they stay cosmetic only, this wouldn't be a problem. But no, now you're recreating AW all over again. I'm going to get the new maps. I'm looking at the maps right now. They all suck. I spent $110 for new maps. I can't get the new weapons. Here's what you could have done. Challenges for them. Hard challenges to complete to get those weapons. That way everyone has a chance. That would have been fine. Okay, if you want to place it on RNG, make a crate that guarantees a weapon drop for like 50 to 60 crypto keys. I'd grind for 60 crypto keys to get the Garand. I'd grind for 60 crypto keys to get the crowbar. I'm not going to spend money on a slim chance of getting them. How much money would that be? $350 to get all the guns, and that's extremely lucky. That's bullshit. I'm done with this fucking game. Yeah, I'll probably still keep playing them. This gameplay you're seeing is the pre-patch, Vesper. The patch sucks itself, too. You get the new weapons in the patch, so, yeah, that's already a the downside. I, they got rid of my G-sliding, which is the only thing that really raised the skill ceiling in this game. Anyone could learn. Look at bunny hopping. It's so successful. It was an unintended mechanic, and you can still do it, and it added to the game, making it more competitive. New modes were made by it called KZ Surf B-Hop. It added a new dimension to the game that raised the skill ceiling, and now you got rid of that. 
Oh my god, I'm... This game was supposed to be good. Before this patch, I thought the game was perfect. I thought the game was awesome. Just nerf the Draconian and the PO6 and the Brecci. You would have had a perfect game. Seriously. But no. Now you introduce this bullshit. This game isn't good anymore. This game is not good anymore. It feels like I'm paying for a mobile game version of a AAA title. You're spending $110 on the game. Up front. And you can't get the new... Uh, you just can't get a piece of locked code? You're not allowed to get a piece of locked code. You have to spend more money and gamble. Or you have to grind hours and still gamble. This game is terrible now. This game is terrible now. Treyarch had the great game planned out in front of them. It did what AW did wrong right. And they ruin it. And they ruin it. This was supposed to be a good game. It really was, but it's now ruined. Ah, I knew it was that good too. We could do terrible. I hate the scythe. I actually really don't like it. I don't know if I'm using it wrong or whatever, but I don't like the scythe. Well, this is not an engagement for the Vesper. Yes. No, he's not going to break his 40. Never mind, I'm breaking 40. GG. Good job, guys. You're a loser, Jobbers. You're a loser. Apparently, best break with sheets. Love you. Yeah, we got the act like God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just give him a good game. Let's give him a good game. No fucking peace sign me, you faggot. You're a robot. <laughs> Don't do it again, dick. <laughs> ah, fuck you. <laughs> Cheeky. Ah, what did I get for that? 